Healthcare today is broken. We spend about $3 trillion each year on healthcare delivery. About a third of that is ineffective or harmful. But the leaders of healthcare delivery systems are realize that we need to fix this, this can't be sustained. And they're realizing that the clinical data that they have, the tools of health services research can be implemented in a reliable and efficient way uh, into changes that can bring about higher quality care. So the overarching goal of the, of the Center for Learning Health System Sciences is to really convene, have researchers and practices interact, connect, share ideas, set priorities, you know, bring more proximal the practice and the research and try to weave those more closely together. The, the center is really a collaboration between the University of Minnesota Medical School and the School of Public Health. I think the guiding principles are really to embed our scholars in the health system and shortening the time that it takes for the insights that we discover to become part of the standard care that every single one of our patients gets. One of the imperatives that has been recognized nationally is that it takes often uh, more than a decade for that science to impact the life of all the patients suffering from the conditions that have been studied. I think we'll get at that sort of translation gap and narrow it from 17 years to 17 months, 17 weeks, 17 days, maybe 17 hours. We want to see real change. So now more than ever, being able to, to learn um, while we try and we innovate and we uh, use many of the things that are available to us today that weren't available even a decade ago. I think one of the, the great success stories which underpins this is uh, the story of how we managed anticoagulation or blood thinning uh, in COVID. We had a learning health system scholar who had a fire in her belly about how do we take all of this emerging evidence on the horrible impact of clotting on COVID outcomes and how do we help the clinician right there at the point of care. And so this individual uh, with a team uh, developed uh, an algorithm that really allowed us, once a patient comes in with COVID, to push a button, have the orders come up for all the right blood tests. Then there was guidance based on the results of those tests on whether it was kind of light blood thinning, heavy blood thinning, or their routine blood thinning. If you were on this protocol, there was actually a 40% lower risk of having a bleeding complication. It's really by thoughtfully and planfully devising our interventions such that we absolutely know how we've impacted those things we care about. My hope with the center is really to be a bridge builder and in some way transform healthcare delivery systems in the state of Minnesota. And there's no other center like this in the country that has a partnering of the medical school with the School of Public Health. And so we're unique in that, and I think we're in a position to leverage those different perspectives and, and assets to really bring about tangible, seismic, and sustained change. Mm -hmm.